What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna focus on the slip tool and the slide tool inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you like these videos and you wanna to continue to learn more about editing inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, please subscribe to my channel because I'm constantly adding new videos. Now let's head down to the timeline. I've tried to make it very easy. I have three clips in here and I've color coded them. Clip one, which is purple, which is right there. And let's head over to the second clip, which is green. You'll see the green clip right there. We'll call that number two. And then last but not least, we have number three here right on the end, and that is color coded blue. I've also set an in and out point around the clip number two, just so you know where the start point is and the end point. Now the slip tool and the slide tool are definitely not as popular as the ripple edit and the rolling edit, but they still have their place in editing. You'll definitely use them over time. So it's good to know. So I'm gonna start with the slip tool. Let's head over the toolbar and let's go down five from the selection tool. So one, two, three, four, five. And you notice here on the corner, there's little white arrows you'll see on the bottom of these. That means that if you click on it, there's extra ones underneath. So now we have the slip tool, which is the top one. And we have the slide tool, which is underneath. And you can see the keyboard shortcuts to the right, the Y for the slip tool and the U for the slide tool. And pay attention to the icons because the icons, the image themselves, kind of tell you exactly what they do. So you'll see here on the slip tool on the top one, you'll notice there's a bar on the right and a bar on the left that indicates the in and out points and then in between there's the arrows going in between. So that's kind of showing you that's gonna slip inside of the in and out points. And then below here, there's the slide tool, which you can kind of represent this little square inside as a clip and the arrows go beyond the clip. So let's start with the slip tool. I'm gonna to head over here to the clip. I put in point and I also put an out point for clip number two, which is the green one. Now if you pay attention to the program window up in here, when I start to move that around, you're gonna see this image change you're gonna see a couple different clips. You're gonna see a clip right here, which is gonna represent the end point of clip number one. And then up here on the top right, you're gonna see the starting point of clip number three. And then down here below, you're gonna see the in and then the out of clip number two. So let me grab that now and let me move it around so you can get the idea and see what it looks like. In the top left corner, you see the blue water with a boat going across. That represents the end of clip number one, which is the purple clip. And you'll notice there's no time code on it, which means it's not moving. And then also on the top right, you'll notice that picture of that building out in that desert. And there's also no time code on that. And that represents clip number three, the blue one on the end. But when I slide this over in the middle, you'll see the two images in the middle video, the green video. And that represents the start of the video and the tell in the video. So you can slide this inside that bracket. So the video is moving inside here, inside the wall here and inside the wall, the in and out points. But it's not crossing over to the video one and it's not crossing over to video two. So it's literally just sliding this inside the in and out points. This is really nice when you're trying to do a time edit. So you wanna get it right before he lifts the ball up on the left, that's where we can let it go. So then when you cut over here, you'll see it just when the ball goes up. So the slip tool, like I said, will just slide it inside its own barriers. It will not move the clip at all other than the in and the out point. It'll slide within itself. Now if we head over to the other tool, which is the slide tool, pay attention to these in and out points here that I've set. If I grab it and I go to move it, you'll see it's gonna pass those and it's gonna move it. So it's also gonna change, it extended this blue clip and it shortened the purple clip. So if I bring it back over and go the opposite way, the second clip, which is the green, as you notice now, has overridden the first part of the blue clip, and it also pulled and extended the, the last part of the purple clip. And let's go back the other way. It pulled the number three clip, which is the blue clip, and it pulled that beginning mark a little earlier, and then it also shortened the end mark of the purple clip, which is the first one. So the green clip stayed exactly the same, and if you notice we bring it back to the line, it'll fit exactly in those brackets. Like I said, these aren't the most popular tools to use, but they do come in handy once in a while. So just trying to learn them. And like I said, their keyboard shortcuts are Y and U. So that is the slip tool and that is the slide tool inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, help with the YouTube algorithm, and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Later.